You going fishing today? We going on the boat? Emmy, hey, contain your excitement. It'll be okay. What's up, MFers? Welcome back to another very exciting video. Myself and uh, Emmy, the fishing pooch up there. We're out on a little local lake today doing a little bit of fall transition bass fishing. Um, this lake has a lot of good fish in it. You've seen us here before. We catch them cranking, uh, a lot of riprap dock stuff like that. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of that today and hopefully breaking down this body of water in a way that would be helpful to uh, the conditions you guys are faced with because you know this is a tough tough time of the year it's cooling down but it hasn't cooled down enough that it kind of triggers some of that fall feeding but uh, put, put the boat in and notice there's a bunch of shad and stuff up shallow so I think there's an opportunity at least to go catch some crankbait fish I'm also gonna tie on a flipping bait Emmy you ready you ready kind of just hoping Emmy doesn't jump in the lake every time I catch a fish if she does that's probably okay too she would enjoy that You have any good ideas where we should start? Over there? Hey, where do you want to start? I have no idea. Look for them. S sniff them out. Do something. These fish finders are worthless when we got Emmy. Over there? Emmy, where should we start? Over there. Got it. Well, pup, shall we? I say we shall. Oh. Got a little bit of cloud cover. Look at all this shad activities. Actually, those are bluegill. Even better, Jillian activities. But noticed a lot of that. Um, good God, they're all at the surface. They're all by the bank. I like this. I like the conditions, how they're setting up. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of cloud cover. There it goes. It's supposed to be slick, calm, and sunny, but cloud cover's going bye-bye right now. We're gonna try to take advantage of that and uh, get a little bit of a crankbait bite going this morning. You guys probably won't be too surprised by uh, which crankbait color I'm starting with. Oh, it's Gillikin. Love this freaking bait. Okay, let's get started. I'm excited for today. Does that look like a real fish? <laughs> Got you excited, didn't it? Well, we definitely don't have the best crankbait conditions right now. It is slick calm. We need a little bit of wind for that. So I'm gonna tie on a little bit of a flipping rig for some of these docks, trees, pads. And I got a, a sexy new little thing to try out with my flipping rig. Look at that. Six cents flipping hooks. This is actually my first time using these six cents hooks. They came out with a bunch of new models. They just went live on their site freaking jacked about these oh yeah look at that look how sharp this is yeah those will grab i like the keeper too keeper appears it's going to hold up stay up i've had a just a ton of trouble with my keepers on these flipping hooks staying in place and not just falling apart generally those are the ones that are like just the little barb grabber guy, not the uh, the big hard plastic one like this guy is. So we'll see how this one holds up, but it's stout and it's super sharp. So Casey tells me they're good. Time to give them a little, little test action. It's a five aught flipping hook. Looks like, yeah, it fits this perfect. Five aught is definitely the size if you guys are flipping D-bombs. Which I know a lot of you guys are. A lot of you start flipping D-bombs from watching me rail on them. Don't blame you. All right, let's see if they want to eat the flipping bait a little better.
There we go. Dirty little Gillikin eater. Dirty little Gillikin eater on the rip wrap. I mean, watch out. Hey, 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 sit down. Sit down. You're not wearing a hook. Sit. You can taste them all you want. Hell yes. Good little starter guy. Look at that. Ooh. He tried to bite daddy. He tried to hurt daddy. Oh, it's a mean fish. He actually is pretty damn mean. A little two pounder. Freaking just swiped at it and has no chance of getting off with those freaking triple grips on there. What do you think? M, good fish, good starter one, a couple pounder. Hey, give him a nice kiss. Not interested. You just wanted to watch. Watch, he's gonna go bye bye. He swims. He lives in the water. You don't live on the water, huh? Good girl. Set the hook on that one. My damn drag slipped. <laughs> just got this reel getting her broken in. That was the first fish I've caught on it. It felt right with the drag. And then it bit, and I was just spitting my reel handle. Hey. We got a cranking fish in on the gillikin. There's gills everywhere up here, so I feel really good about throwing this color around. For those of you that somehow didn't see this, the last 87 videos I've shown it to you. Basically, it's like a green pumpkin gill color, a little bit of copper, fades into like a subtle chartreuse, dark on the top, and it's kind of hard to pick up. A lot of blue shimmer on the bait too. I like it a lot. No fishing. Yoki. Makes me want to catch one here real bad like. Well, myself and Emmy, mostly me, have not been doing uh have not been doing the best today so far. Uh it's been tough. Now the sun's come out. Maybe that'll help us because we've tried flipping, we've tried cranking. We fished some docks. We've thrown top water a bunch. We fished some pads. We've done a little bit of everything there is to do with this lake, and uh, I don't know if it's a timing deal or what, or if there's just too many shad and bluegill out here right now for the uh, the bass to eat. But it's been tough. It's a tough time of the year, and I don't think having that much bait in the water helps. But uh, maybe the sun's out now. We can get a flipping bite going. We're gonna go hit some of our, our better areas. Um, yeah, I I'm feeling a little bit better about it. I'm also hungry, so I'm gonna try to get lunch delivered to the boat ramp. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hi there, I'm um, just calling to see, do you guys deliver, uh, or could you deliver to the boat ramp? No, we don't deliver, no. Down, do, do any of your locations? We would technically be the closest location, but that's out of our delivery area. Oh, okay, thank you. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, look what we caught there, Em. We caught a crappie. <laughs> Only we ever caught a crappie at this lake. Huh, that's a big one too. Uh, crappies eat gillikins, question mark? I gotta take a picture of some of that porn stash. Be the best day of his life. Well, I mean, generally, I'd take it home and eat it, but I don't really plan on catching a mess of these, you know, Em? That's a tank, though. Hopefully, he's still there when we ice fish. That was a big one. There we go. That ain't a shad. It's not big, though. Dirty Chad eater. Gillikin eater's more like it, huh, Em? Yeah. You bet. He's not as big, is he? No, but I got scales all over me from that disgusting shad. Smell him? Yeah, the shad smells way worse than the bass, huh? Good call, Em. You said to come over here. I'm glad we did now. She must have smelled the chads. No, we don't want to say goodbye to him. No kisses? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right. They're definitely eating this. I haven't had a bite flipping yet. Maybe I'm just in the wrong part of the lake, but 
Definitely got uh, Chad and bluegill eaters up on these rocks. What did we hook, Emmy? What did we hook? Why are they getting smaller? We fish better looking stuff and our fish get smaller. I blame you. Mostly your fault. You said come over here. You snipped them out. You don't even want to say hi to that guy. He's not even big enough, is he? No. Nope. Another Gillikin fish though. Not exactly the size caliber we're after, but another Gillikin. <laughs> Comedians up there. There we go. Oh god, that's a big one. Emmy, stand back. We got a giant. What is up with this lake? Hmm? Tell me. What's up with it? What's up with it? Oh, he's gone. He's gone forever. Let's catch another one. I'm fishing the same like rip rap and stuff as I usually do with my, my little gillikin here. I switched over actually because I broke off the first gillikin and some damn fishing line contraption. But uh yeah, I mean, I'm fishing the same stuff I usually do, banging this little square bill around in these rocks, which is what you got to do in this situation. And um, yeah, it just isn't happening. I don't know what the quality fish are. Like I was saying earlier, I think it's definitely could be a case of uh, too much of the real thing in the water, but throw the square bill around and banging into enough stuff, you get bit. It just hasn't been the right wands. Look at that. Jeez. That's why you get in tight to those little areas, folks. Biggins like this. Right, Em? Don't make fun of my fish, Emmy. That's rude. There we go. There we go. On the seawall. Watch out, Em. Got hooks everywhere. It's a little bit better one. They were getting smaller and smaller the whole time, weren't they? Yeah, they kept getting smaller and smaller. Put the gillikin back on. We improved. No? Not curious? Not interested, huh? All right. Seawalls, huh? I don't know. I, I guess we, gonna, we could fish some seawalls. I don't know where the biggins live. Where's the big Sam? Oh, it is a fish. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't even tell. Felt like that crappie I caught. I know, I mean, it's not impressive. That's what we're trying to do though. That's why we're out here. Hey, that's why I'm casting this stuff. I know, it's disappointing. It's an embarrassment. Okay, we're getting taken out to sea, Emmy. Did we find a big one finally? Emmy, hey, look, look it. Look, Em. Is it big? Watch out. Here, look, look. Look. What did we catch? What did we catch? Is it big? Emmy, look. What the hell is that? Emmy, no, 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 no. No, come here. Come here. Back up. Sit. No. <laughs> we, we snagged the carp. We snagged the carp, didn't we? Sad day. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Hey, go on. You're gonna get hooked. That is a weird looking carp. It's like black. Gillikin catches them all, Em. Most exciting catch of the day. Could have swore it was big. Probably is the heaviest fish we've caught today, which is sad. Go on. 
this guy must have been up there just minding his own business. That's an ugly carp, huh? Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's about how today's gone. Sometimes when you get big ones up here on these rocks, it's like, it seems like you snagged one and they just came up and inhaled it and took off sideways. That was, uh, that's what I was hoping. No dice. Damn it, here we got a fish sort of, what'd we catch? All right, something slammed me right before, but this is what's in there that they're eating is gizzard chad you know what i kind of want to take a picture of that maybe we'll do a, a photo finish of this exact shad let's take it on the carpet even though i don't want this slimy bastard on the carpet emmy could you tell him not to flip around much that'd be great okay that works too he's got a lot of green some gold a little bit of everything huh dude chill all right bud get you back in the water good luck down there probably gonna die well we've caught a bass a crappie and a shad not that we caught the shad in the mouth we snagged him i actually got slammed about three feet before i hooked that shad so there's definitely fish here kind of a weird day oh that's fantastic that reminds me of the good old days. We used to use the end of our docks as pole holders just like that. Look at that. Emmy, is that your pole? Is that your fishing pole? Did you put that there? Is that a little puppy fishing pole? She's not, not that interested. She doesn't think I'm that funny. You wanna go home or keep fishing? Hey, should we go home? Back home, definitely uh, was not the best showing today by myself. Tough freaking bite. I feel like the only thing we got bit on all day, I think, was the Gillikin crankbait. Uh, besides that, nothing. Tough, tough time of the year today. But good news is I wanted to show you guys this new package I got from Sixth Sense. That's a lot of stuff. I got a ton of new colors, and then I got these guys over here that I want to show you as well that are not alive on the six cent side and that is the hooks. Let's take a look at the hooks quick and then I gotta show you some of these colors. But uh, yeah, so I don't think this is all the types of hooks. I got them somewhere in here, but five aught. These are the uh, Stout EWG Wide Gap hooks. Those look super, super good. Um, I used those a little bit today. I flipped my magic worm around. Can't really tell you how that went since, you know, I didn't catch any on it. Um, these guys look just amazing. Straight shank flipping hooks. I really, really like the keeper on them. We'll see how they hold up um, as far as the hook points and stuff. Definitely hard to find a, a hook point that doesn't roll for me anyways. Um, here we go, jugular hybrid hook. So this is like a, a regular straight um, wide gap hook. Um, a little bit wider than a regular one though. So that's why it's called the hybrid. Looks like a badass magic worm hook as well and then what are those do we got oh yeah i got them the four out too um also spinnerbait trailer hooks um wacky hooks do i still have those in my pocket i don't i got i'm a lot of sorts wacky hooks um yeah a couple different other types of hooks as well but go check those out as well um let's check out some of these new colors though we got bluegill color back again in the uh, the provoke jerk bait sorry i'm just excited about these so i wanted to show them to you guys Here's a really, really unique one that's not necessarily gonna be the deal right now, but in the future, you're gonna see me throw this a lot. This is the suspending quake. You might ask, what's the big deal about a suspending lipless bait? Well, I'm fishing this in grass almost all the time. And so being able to pop this bait and rip it and then stop it and not have it just sink down and get bogged up in the grass. Plus check out this new color, amazing looking color. It's like a Pro blue with scales, little orange bottom. One of the awesome new colors I want to show you guys. Um, let's see what else we got. Man, I got so much. Like this whole thing is full. Here's another color. This one is the uh, also the suspending quake, but it's like a shiner color. 
comes with scales as well. Super jacked about that one. Looks amazing. This guy right here, I know if I, if I show them to you in the package, it's not going to look like much, but this is called Hickory Shad. Uh, yeah, that's going to get bit. These jerkbait colors Six Sense has now on the Provoke with the scales on them. Like, this was my favorite jerkbait, and then now they got freaking the scaled versions of them. Yeah, I got another Hickory Shad. This one's called Shad Pro. Um, basically, it's like Hickory Shad. It's got a little bit bluer top, a little bit more opaque. Got the little side fin painted on there. Stupid how good these things look. So yeah, I freaking loaded up on those. I end up blowing through a bunch of them when I'm trout fishing and stuff. And uh, this next week I'm fishing a river for big, big smallies and pike and everything else. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be taking those. Um, here is that same, it's called Sensory Shad. Uh, that's the spending um, quake I had it in. But it's again, like a pro blue with scales. Gonna be amazing in that bait. Here's a new craw color from Sixth Sense. It's called Crawfish Nook. I got it in the curve. This is another one I'm gonna take to the river for those smally jaws. It's like a subtle orange on the bottom into a green pumpkin brown on the top with some, some white spots on it. I don't know. It looks amazing though. You guys gotta check out. Sixth Sense just came out with all these new colors in their baits. Um, they reintroduced a couple of these baits. This is the uh, the mini guy. That's the MD little version. That's an amazing bait. Um, Hornstash likes to throw that behind me with a spinning rod and he catches everything on that. Um, they got the new colors in the flat 75, so of course I had to pick some of those up. That's Shad Pro. Got a cool new crappie color. Uh, I think that's only in the, the mini baby crappie. And then, man, I got so many new colors. Here's another one, uh, Shad Streaker in the Crush 50. Probably would have got bit today. This one I'm gonna take out because you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but it's been flying off the shelf since it came in. Crush 50 in, this is called Black and Blue Craw. Look at that guy. I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna go do some filming and I'm gonna try, I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm, I'm gonna try to do a video though where I only use black and blue baits and a lot of them are gonna be black and blue crankbaits. Six Sense is one of the only companies that offers that uh, and it's been a giant, giant success with the company sales wise and um, success wise. People are wrecking them on the black and blue, um, especially this was the original black and blue. Black Magic is the name of this color. I got it in the splash bag, so we've got a black and blue popper now. Um, here's another color that's kind of like a black and blue color. I'll probably cheat and throw it in my black and blue only. This one's called Black Light, so it's like the black and blue craw, but it's got a lot more purple in it. Hopefully you guys can see any of these. Um, I have no idea. Lighting probably sucks in my garage, but the sun's coming in at least. And then, of course, I gotta get a bunch of brown eye special in the flat 75. I think I got, yeah, five or six of these. If you guys were remember back last spring, every flat 75 in an orange crawfish color was sold out after that video or a couple of videos I posted just wrecking them on them. Um, and so if, if you wanna be stocked up, if you're smart, unlike myself, you'll go get stocked up um, now while these are available instead of waiting till spring when everyone and their mom is buying them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, do I have anything else that's cool? Yeah, I do. I, do have, I have so many things that are cool. I'm so excited for. Yeah, I gotta get a bunch of peg stoppers. These are always at the top of the uh, top seller on Tackle Warehouse, if you notice that. I had to restock in mini mags and chartreuse spank. I just, I got so many new things and new colors. I'm so excited to try. You guys better go check those out and pick them up too while they're new, while they're in stock. There's not very many actually in stock of all those colors Casey just told me. So uh, check those out. Hooks are, are in there now. Hooks feel freaking amazing. Need to get, I need to put them to the test a lot more, but I'll be able to tell you guys um, how they're working for me, if the points are rolling, if they're holding up to the, the, the abuse of me fishing every single day with them. But um, of course use promo code MF10, save yourself a little bit of money. I'll link stuff down below. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Tomorrow's video. I'm out of here. Peace.